Hello everyone, welcome back to another Starbelt video portal tutorial episode. And today I'm going to show you how to make a retro turntable video and audio effect. What we're going to make today is something that looks like this. So we've got the turntable, we've got some artifacting done to the video, and we've got like that turntable scratching sound. And as a little bonus, we have like the staticky TV coming in. So how did I make this? I started with some turntable footage. So let's just throw it in the timeline and take a look at it. I kind of want to have a spacer here. So let's go to our generators. Let's make a solid. Let's just throw a vivid in there to split these two up. So I started with this stock video clip, pretty nice looking record player just spinning, but there's no audio with it. Like it looks pretty retro, but I wanted it to have an even more retro look. And the first thing I really wanted was the scratching sound. I looked everywhere for this and I didn't feel like paying $40 for a static sound on some stock sites. It turns out if you have GarageBand, you can make this sound for yourself. So let's open up GarageBand. Let's make a new project in GarageBand. We'll make it an empty project. And we're going to choose a synthesizer or a software instrument, I guess it's called. Bring up this little thing. It's Command-K to bring that up. Go to the synthesizer. Go to Pad. And then go to Outer Land Synth. Take the octave all the way down. Turn off that metronome thing. And we're going to be using A here. I'm going to maximize the volume, so let's record ourselves playing that. That should be enough. Pull up this window, which can be done by pressing B on your keyboard to get this transform window. Go to the equalizer settings. We're going to add a low pass filter. We'll take this down to about there. Now I'm going to export this to disk. I'm going to export it as AAC. High quality, 192 kbps. Let's pull that into Final Cut. First of all, let's uh, zoom in there. Let's trim it up a bit since I screwed up recording it a bit. So let's take off that dead piece. I think it ends about there. Let's trim that little piece off. And now I've got something that sounds like this. So I hear the scratching that I want, but I hear this thrumming bass in there as well, that whoa, 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 which I don't want. And that's part of the synth artifacting. So what you can do is select your audio clip and then go to your equalization here, not under the info, but under the little speaker there. Go click this equalization. It's currently flat. Click this icon to get the equalizer. And it sounds like it's really in the low end, so let's take out uh, the 32 hertz and see how it sounds. It's better, but I still hear it there, so let's take down the next one at 64 hertz. Try it again. That's sounding pretty good. I think I've isolated the crackle. Next, I'm going to take up the volume on this a bit. I'm going to make it 6 dB. I don't want it to clip. There's still just a little bit of the bass in there. What happens if I take out 128? I kind of like that. So now that we have our audio crackle the way that we want, the next thing is to retro the video a little bit. I added a video filter called Bad TV. Let's go look for it. And let's just trim this down. To add the bad TV effect, you just click and drag it on there and let it go. And then once you do that, you can click on the, uh, the video clip icon, show the video inspector, I guess it's really called. And if we play that now, you can see you get like this kind of shaky, ruined video kind of effect, like the bad TVs of my youth, which is kind of cool. I, I like the shake, but I wanted to do more. You can of course like tweak that up. Let's try out a couple of things here. 
I mean, that's that's a little too much. I think I'm happy with the default of 25% on the amount. Just shakes it enough, but you, it doesn't make anyone too seasick. You can play around with the static types, but the one I chose was the Gaussian noise, the film grain. Static blend mode of screen is fine. The coup de gras is this roll effect that you can add, but it, it's static, so if you set the roll, say, there, then it's just going to look like that, which isn't all that exciting. So what you can do instead is we can go to the first frame, and we can set that roll back to zero, and we'll add a keyframe, and let's go maybe a quarter of the way through, and we'll add a keyframe, and we'll make that roll 100%. And if we do that, we should get this, this effect. I kind of like that, but then it just stays static again. So we'll go back to that last keyframe. We'll go one frame forward. We'll add another keyframe. We'll set the roll back to zero, which is the same as 100. And then we'll drag this a little bit further, maybe another quarter of the way. We'll add another keyframe, set that to 100 again. And what this will do is give us two cycles. So it should look like this. So it's kind of interesting, but that's not exactly how this one looked. Let's take a look at that again. So it went down one and went down, down. So I believe what I did there, if I take a look at the keyframes on this clip, I took it up to 100, and then I took it to 50, to 100, and then I took it to 75 and 100. So let's try that. So our first keyframe on this clip starts at zero, and it goes to 100. And then we went to zero, but let's change that keyframe to 50. So it starts midway. And then it will go to 100. So let's see how that looks. So you get your full cycle and then the TV glitch half cycle. That's pretty good. Let's go back to that last keyframe. Let's go forward one keyframe, add another keyframe. This time we'll set it to 25. So it's there. Move it ahead a bit further. We'll add another keyframe and we'll make it 100 again. So let's see how that's looking. So we get our first kind of glitchy roll. We get like a mid-frame roll. Then we get that roll. There you go. That's how I did the glitchy record player effect. Uh, extra marks if you want to add, you might have noticed, those very astute of you that there's this interesting glitch effect happening and I did that with a transition so if you go over here to transitions and go to lights there's an, an item here called static so you can click that to the front of your clip and I really want it there final cut give it to me oh my god I guess maybe if I eat some of the clip, then I can actually put the transition down. Let's move that up a little bit. Let's see how it looks. Give it a sec to render. So you get some static coming into your glitchy, staticky record player retro look. And if you want to make your own look, and let's change this vivid. Let's get a new generator. I should have done that from the start. Let's get a custom generator. Let's just replace that one, replace it. And now we've got black. It'll show up the transition a little better. Let's let that render real quick. Coming in from black, it looks a lot better. And that's how it'll look at the start of your video because the default background is black. And then you get this, this effect. And you can add more keyframes, you can speed that up. Obviously, I made mine quite a bit shorter in the original. I just wanted a two second intro. And the one I've made for you here is what, nine seconds, so this is a lot slower. One other cool thing you can do with these static dissolves is you can change the style. And you can change some S curves here, but style B is kind of interesting. I use it in some of my videos just so it doesn't look so defaulty. And the difference is subtle. I'll just step through it. You get like these lines 
in it as opposed to the default one just it gives you like the bands with high, heavier static it's really a personal preference i i think it's so quick i make my transitions fif like a half a second 15 frames so i think most people don't even notice but to the purists out there that like to make your your own unique touch on things it can be a nice touch not many people use that a lot of people just drag and drop the uh, the default static if they use it at all but if you make it style B you get the different style anyways I hope you enjoyed this I really enjoy making these tutorial videos please let me know if there if you have any further questions or concerns in the comments below let me know if you liked the video or if you hated it if there's anything else that you would like to see me do, or if I skipped over a step and you're, you're not quite sure what I did, let me know, and I will answer your question in the comments below. Feel free to like this video, and of course, if you want to see more of my stuff, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.